Hi, and welcome back to Lesson 2 of Rampant Design Tools Full Line of Final Cut Pro 10 Training. I'm Stephanie Mullen, and in this lesson we are going to focus on the basics of importing media into Final Cut Pro 10. Now, everyone knows there are a ton of devices out there that shoot HD video. You can even get HD footage on your phone now. And with all these devices comes mounds and mounds of footage that you, the editor, gets to sort through. Now this can be a major undertaking, but Final Cut's import processes are here to help take some of that burden off your plate. Let's get started and see what I mean. All right, we're gonna start out by opening the Final Cut program. And as you will see, you'll see the basic interface that we talked about in lesson one. And as we talked about in lesson one, Final Cut collects all of your media and places everything inside it, something called an event. Think of events as a folder that contains all of your media. So all of your video, all of your still photos, all of your audio files, they're all gonna be contained in something called an event. And this is your event library right here. This is where you're gonna see everything. If you can't see this, if this is what your screen looks like, it's blank, just click right here on this button right here and it's gonna open up the event library and you're gonna be able to see everything. So let's get started with creating a new event. So I'm gonna click on my hard drive and then I'm gonna either right click new event or you can go up to file and also do new event as well. I'm gonna right click, click new event. It's gonna pop up a little purple icon and it's gonna say new event. This is the default. We can rename that, it's really easy. So I'm gonna type in NYC footage and press return. Okay, now we're ready to insert and, and import our media. Before we go into importing our media, I wanna tell you really quick that you can also delete your events really easy. If you right click them, you're gonna see down here at the bottom, it's gonna say move event to trash. That's a real simple way you don't like your event and get rid of it now be careful with that because everything is tied to your lesson so if you move this event to the trash it's going to come up with a dialog box that says error you're about to delete your files okay we're not worrying about that right now because we're focusing on importing not getting rid of anything all right so on to importing there are a bunch of different ways to importing final cut pro x uh, and i'm going to show you so the first one is down here on the toolbar you can import here you can also click on your event and right click it and it's going to say import here. You'll also notice the command I, that's your shortcut. Uh, you can also go to file import media right here. And you can click on this icon right here. For this exercise, I'm gonna stick with the big icon. I, probably, I think it's probably the easiest as well. So we click on that. And now you'll see how our media import window opens up. First, let's take a look at what's going on over here. As you can see, this is where all of your hard drives are gonna be. Also, you're gonna see if you have any camera attached or if you have any archives or any external drives, everything's gonna be listed right here in this side. Now, I really like this favorites that Final Cut's put in here. It allows me to add access stuff really fast. Uh, so you all already see that my Final Cut Pro X folder is here. If I wanted to add another favorites, Say I wanted to put this, this folder here, I would just drag it up here and put it here and it's really nice. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want that lesson up there, but if you did, it's really nice to have that. So I'm gonna click on my Final Cut Pro X folder. I'm gonna click on my lesson two, part one, and this is gonna bring up a list of all of my clips that are inside for this lesson, okay? So if I wanted to start, I'm gonna click on the first clip. And as you will see, the clip opens and there's gonna be a media import viewer. This is really nice. Also right below the viewer is gonna be a film, like a film strip that you can scrub through and skim your clips. I really like this. It allows me to see exactly what I'm importing. Um, it's just a nice quick way for me to get to see what exactly is in my folder. Now, after this, if you want a single clip to enter into your timeline, you just click on one, come down to import selected and it will import one clip. I want to actually import all of them, so I'm going to shift select. I'm going to select the first one, scroll down to the bottom, and shift select them all. So now everything's selected, Then I'm going to go over here to my import all button. I'm going to click this, and it's going to pop up another dialog box. This is where it's going to give you different import options for your, for the, for your footage and where you want it to be. All right, we'll start at the top. So if you didn't have an event already created like we created before we actually imported, you would actually create that here. So Click create new event, name your event, and then ask, tell it the final cut where you want it saved. Pretty easy. We already have an existing event, so we're gonna actually leave it on NYC footage. Now we're gonna move down the box. You'll see these are a bunch of different other organizing sections that you'll see. So 
The first one says organizing. This is going to tell Final Cut what to do. Now, we're going to leave this, this box here checked. It says copy files to Final Cut events folder. Basically, this allows your actual media to be copied, physically duplicated. Um, if you deselect this, uh, Final Cut would just basically create a reference that points to your original files um, in your original location. Say you are a well-organized editor working with footage on an external hard drive. You didn't want to take up any more drive space, so you didn't want to copy your files, but just wanted to reference them instead. You would uncheck this, and all Final Cut would do is reference things, so it doesn't take up anything on your hard drive. You're not actually copying anything. Um, the only problem with that is, is that if you did uh, remove your drive or say dreaded scenario that your files are deleted, the clips in Final Cut will no longer have anything to reference, so they won't play. You would have to relink them just like you would in Final, um, not Final Cut, in Premiere or After Effects. The same kind of uh, situation would happen. I personally like the copying. I think it's nice for me because it allows me the freedom to know that no matter what I do to my clips, I can go back and start again if I mess up. So I like that, but again, that's personal preference. You decide as you start working with your workflow. We're going to leave this import folders as keyword collections off right now. We're gonna talk about that in the next lesson, more about what this does. We're also going to not worry about any of this stuff, any of this transcoding video or audio options. So we're just gonna leave all those blank and we're going to click import and you'll see it go and right here you'll see the NYC footage event and then here's all of your clips that you have for your event it's really easy really nice really easy way to see everything okay and that's it I'm going to stop here with this simple lesson on importing media uh, remember creating events are easy and can be thought of like folders that contain all of your media folders once you create an event uh, you simply start importing anything that would belong in that event Oh, yeah, and you can have as many events here that you would like. So the makes it more organized for you to see your footage. Uh, so you can keep putting in different events, different folders, just like you would organize on your desktop. Um, if you're interested in learning how Final Cut imports folders as keyword collections, please check out Lesson 3. Um, as always, if there are any questions or if you have any specific tutorial requests, hit me up on Twitter at Final Cut Steph. And until our next exciting lesson, this is Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.